As we're watching these results come in, of course, you know, it's still early. We continue to say that it's still early, although Donald Trump has been projected the winner of the Iowa caucus. And one thing we were watching before these results were coming in was how are undecided voters going to impact the results of tonight's caucus? The Iowa poll showed that only uh, I think I believe it was 7%, only 7% of likely Republican caucus goers on Saturday said that they didn't have a first choice candidate, but 25% said they could be persuaded to support someone else. We were waiting to see, you know, how big of a curveball that could have on the results. So we checked in with some undecided voters this weekend that we had talked to for months as part of our Coffee with the Candidates series. Uh, a lot of them said they were still undecided, uh, most of them between Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley. So Trump was not in the mix for them, but we asked them, you know, if Trump wins and becomes the eventual Republican nominee, even though he's not your first choice, would you still support him in the general election? Take a listen to what they had to say. If Trump gets the nomination um, and it's a Trump Biden race, would you vote for Trump in the general election? Absolutely. Uh, yes. Yes. What about you, Ryan and Betsy? Well, I would categorize it for me more of I'm not going to vote for Joe Biden, which I think a lot of the country agrees with. So I would vote for Trump in the sense that I'm voting against Biden. Yes. I remember when we went and voted for Trump and Hillary and I was like, are you kidding me right now? Or is the country being punked? You know, he just came off of um, The Apprentice. Um, but yes, I would definitely um, vote for Trump again if he's the Republican candidate, although I know his um, candidate, his presidency is just going to be attacked and we're not going to get anywhere. And I, I worry about what that would do for us. We need I think we need a clean slate. He did great. Wish he was still in there. I don't think we'd be in the situation if he was. See, you heard some hesitancy from Betsy there. She said she was leaning towards Nikki Haley, but you also heard the majority of them say, hey, if Donald Trump uh, gets the nomination and it's a Trump-Biden race, I'll support Trump. And overwhelmingly, when I was out on the campaign trail talking to Iowans, a lot of them told me the number one thing that I am going to make my decision off of is how electable is this candidate. Republicans continue to tell me, uh, I don't like the state of the country. I just want someone who can beat Joe Biden. Uh, and many of the people who were Trump supporters, a lot of them told me that the reason they were Trump supporters is because they liked how the country was when Trump was president. They, they knew uh, what Trump brought. Uh, and that was part of the reason why they uh, went on to support him. You know, as we come to see the rest of these results and we're maybe able to break down some exit polling later on in the night, we may be able to see how many people went in, you know, undecided through entrance polling and came out, you know, with a decision. So that'll be interesting to, to break down. And we will continue to bring you the results uh, from all of these precincts as they continue to report in tonight.